Hello everyone, it's Charlotte from Creative Soul Makery. So we're gonna start off by doing the clay molds. We're using the trimmings three and the sunflowers. We're gonna get some air dry clay and let's get going. All right, so no big deal. We're just gonna pop some cornstarch in there. That's a neat trick. Yeah, it yeah. adds, it, it dries it out a little bit more so it's not so uh, sticky. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna roll my clay up. I'm using air dry clay which you can also get from Iron Orchid Designs. Did you use baking soda too? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I can't vouch for that because I've never done it. I've only, I've always used cornstarch. Okay, let's see how this goes with the cornstarch. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Look at all the detail in that mold. Does it look okay on the screen? Yeah, that's my favorite mold. Oh, I just love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half this sunflower on this side and the other half on this side. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to take my handy dandy plastic cutter and I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to go right down the center. Okay, I'm going to cut that in half because this, this, um, this is big. All right, and then I'm going to put it on... I'm gonna put it on like that. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna glue these on yet because first I need to make this guy. And I'm gonna be using this one to make a border on my centerpiece box. And I'm gonna use cornstarch again because the humidity is probably Nice. I never look at that number. <laughs> Hi to everybody joining us. Hi. Hi everyone. If you're just joining us, I'm Charlotte, Creative Soul Makery in Garden City, Michigan. Welcome. Today we're making a little easy peasy sunflower centerpiece box. And this box is actually going to be easy to transition from summer to fall. So... And right now what we're doing is we're going to make a trim with the trimmings mold. I put a little cornstarch down in there. Oh. That's the new one. Yep, this is the new. Both of these are the new molds. Okay, let's pop that out, look at that. So the plan, like I said, is to put this trim Can you see how those match up together like that? And it just continues. And then you can take your slicer, trim it off. There 
there you go. So we're going to glue that on there. And then we're going to glue the sunflowers coming on the sides like that. Okay. We're going to use our handy dandy quick and thick. When I'm working with my glue, I like to keep it down like that. Makes life so much easier. Yes. When you're working with your clay, always keep it sealed because it's air dry clay and it will dry out. Okay. So we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna frost the back side with our glue frosting. Pop it on there. So I'm only going to do one side of my trimming um, because the glue is still, you know, wet. It's going to go, it could get smashed if I lay it down to try and do the other side. So I'm going to set that aside and let it, let it dry a little bit more. And we're going to start on our jars. So what I did with these jars, okay is I took the lids off, but I'm, I discarded the disc part and I'm just keeping this ring because I want to put the rings back on after I paint them. So these I am going to paint. Now, I know that painting on glass and shiny surfaces can tend to be a little uh, difficult because the paint doesn't want to stick. So what I did was I took these and I sprayed them ahead of time with a matte sealer spray. And that way, look at that. I can just paint with one coat. Get the paint on there. Do up here. Getting a lot of love right now. Aw, thank you. Getting some hearts. Mm -hmm. Loads of hearts. See? And if you want to know what spray sealer I used, I used the Clear Matte Rust-Oleum. The one that has the 2 and the X on it. See? Easy peasy. So you're going to paint all three of your jars like so. Okay, and then these, you can, I mean, you could leave these just how they are and, and put them back on your painted jars, or you could paint them a different color. I decided to go with a, like a denim blue color because I feel like denim blue jeans go with everything, right? You exactly. can put any color shirt with on with a pair of blue jeans and it's gonna go, it doesn't matter, unless it's another blue jean shirt, but we'll, we won't go there. Okay, so look what we have. Here's my fully prepped, painted, dried, ready to go. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to make, I'm gonna take this from one dimension, flat, all painted white, okay, to a two-dimensional just by using sandpaper and dark wax. So I'm going to start with the jars and like I said I painted these blue 
like a denim blue color because blue goes with any color, goes with anything. And then I'm going to take my sandpaper and go across all the lettering. Just like that. Then just wipe off the excess dust. Okay. Pop that in, in there for now. So that's how we distressed our canning jars. You see those? Now for this, after I painted it white, so I put my clay molds down first, the appliques down first, glued them down, let them dry, and then I painted it with white. Um, I actually, and I forgot to tell you guys too, this has a, a, a opening right here in the bottom of it. Do you see that? Yeah. So I cut a piece of cardboard and just kind of stuck it in there because my jars weren't, weren't standing up straight in there. So um, if you happen to get these exact same crates, just remember that you can make a, make a, a bottom down there. Right. After I painted it white, I put a coat of sealer on here. You can use clear wax or just any kind of sealer to create a barrier between your paint and your dark wax. Okay. Could you use the matte sealer? Um, yeah, you could use the matte sealer, sure. I need one of those uh, blue lint-free towels, please. All right, so I got a little bit of dark wax on my brush here, and I'm just gonna start pouncing it into into the little valleys. I call them hills and valleys. The raised area of your design are the hills and the little details are the valleys. So we're pouncing it down in there and then we're gonna take, thank you, Sue. We're gonna take a lint-free cloth and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wipe it off of the hills, okay? Just like that. Oh my gosh, isn't it awesome? Love. Then I'm gonna take my wax and I'm just gonna start hitting some of the, I'm gonna vignette. I'm gonna vignette, which means make a little outline. A vignette is actually like an outline that's blended in with the background. And then I'm going to just blot that. That, keep, that keeps your center highlighted and it just distresses the outlines, the edges I mean, okay? So from that to that. It's amazing how it makes it pop. I know, and then it looks even way cooler when it's dry too. So let's do a sunflower. I'm using a blue shop towel and I'm going to go through and wipe the wax back off. See that? Beautiful. I know. It's so pretty. Then we're, last but not least, we're gonna do the other side here. Okay. I'm using a wet wipe to just kinda take a little bit more. Look at that. Can you guys see?
Okay, you can pop these flowers out, okay, for some fall flowers. And you've got the cutest little centerpiece. You don't even have to put flowers in there. You can put your silverware, your straws, you can put some napkins in between and around. Okay, you guys enjoy the rest of this beautiful day and we will see you in two weeks with another fun and easy project with IOG. Bye. Bye-bye.